Hi everyone, Lando Assistant here, and here is our math problem for today. This is about solving equations in quadratic form containing radical rational expressions. And here is our problem. Let's say you are asked to solve this equation containing radical rational expression. We have here a radical expression, and inside the radical is a rational expression x plus 10 over x minus 6. And here is another radical expression containing rational expression x minus 6 over x plus 10 minus 34 over 15 equals 0. Find the value of x. You can pause the video and see if you can solve this equation. And if you want to learn mathematics daily online, please consider subscribing. And if you already subscribed, please write in the comment section, I already subscribed, and I will try my best to reply to your comments. Now let's solve this problem together. The first thing that we are going to do is to simplify the way we write this equation because this looks so complicated to me. We can achieve that by introducing a variable and let's call that variable as u. Now we let u be equal to this first radical rational expression, the square root of x plus 10 over x minus 6. Notice that the second radical expression contains a rational expression that is the reciprocal of the first rational expression here. And since x plus 10 over x minus 6 and x minus 6 over x plus 10 are multiplicative inverses, then let's get the reciprocal of u and its reciprocal is 1 over u. And 1 over u now is equal to the square root of x minus 6 over x plus 10. With this as our substitution, we can now rewrite the original equation this way. This first term is our u, the second term is 1 over u, and we copy all the rest. In order to simplify this rational equation, we can multiply each of the terms of this equation by the LCD of u and 15, which is 15u. Let's do that. So let's multiply the first term by 15u, do the same for the second term, the third term, and the right side of the equation. Simplifying the first term, we arrive at 15u squared, and simplifying the second term, we arrive at 15, and simplifying the third term, we arrive at minus 34u, and the right side remains 0. Let's concentrate now on this last equation. Let's write this in standard quadratic form, and lucky enough, we can factor this quadratic equation this way, and equating each of these factors to zero, we arrive at u equals 5 over 3 or u equals 3 over 5. Notice now that this u and this u are both equal to this radical rational expressions. So let's continue our solution. Now, since quantities that are equal to the same quantity are also equal, so we now have this 5 over 3 equal to this radical rational expression, the same with this 3 over 5 equal to this expression. Then let's solve these two equations separately. So solving this first equation, we square both sides of this equation to arrive at this. The square of the square root is basically whatever is the expression inside the radical. And the square of 5 over 3 is 25 over 9. We can simplify this further by multiplying by the LCD, but mentally we can achieve that by cross multiplication. So 9 times x is 9x, 9 times 10 is 90, 25 times x is 25x, 25, 25 times negative 6 is negative 150, and gathering similar terms and solving for x, we have x equals 15. For the second equation, we do the same thing. We square both sides of the equation to arrive at x plus 10 over x minus 6 equals 9 over 25 and cross multiplying we have this equation and gathering similar terms we have 16x equals negative 304 and solving for x we have x equals negative 19. Now since we square both sides of the equation both in the first and in the second equations, there's a possibility that we introduce an extraneous root. And so we need to perform checking. So let's check if x equals 15 or x equals negative 19 satisfy the original equation. And so we now have these results. If x equals 15, we arrive at a true statement here. If x equals negative 19, again, we also arrive at a valid equation. And therefore, our conclusion is the roots of the original equation are x equals 15 
and x equals negative 90. And so, this problem is now solved. And if you want more problems like this, here is our recommended video. Research shows that the best way to learn mathematics is to learn by example. So thank you very much and please subscribe if you want to learn math daily online by examples. Bye for now.